The opportunity to blend art and science to help scientists communicate more effectively is a remarkable one. Um, when we bring art to science communication through the form of improvisational theater, we use improv to help people connect. What it does is it, is it engenders a deeper sense of connection and trust. Um, and it helps scientists who are talking to different audiences or writing to them be more creative, responsive, and caring in how they communicate. We expect this program and this collaboration with the Alda Center, along with several other SOT activities in science communication, to lead to a broad and effective cohort of toxicologists within SOT that are communicating the toxicological sciences effectively um, beyond their peers to broader non-scientist communities, other scientists outside of toxicology. And in so doing, we wanna build support for our science promote the understanding of toxicology and its wider relevance to society. And last but not least, to encourage more informed um, science-based decision-making at all levels, from government to communities to, to individuals, um, even within their own companies and their own work environments. Great communication empowers scientists because it reminds us that our work is valuable and important and that the people need what we do. It's so easy to forget the impact of your work when you're standing at a bench, writing a grant. When you communicate effectively with people outside of your area, it, it, it really helps energize you to remember that your work will have real world tangible impacts somewhere down the line. We are so excited, and I know Alan Alda is as well, to launch this partnership with SOT. Work in toxicology has such immediate relevance to society. It, it's, it's about our health and well-being. I'm excited that we're gonna have the chance to work together with groups of people who are members of SOT. The Society of Toxicology is one of the key organizations that defines the wider relevance of toxicology to society. And our ability to communicate that science effectively depends on our members. And so that's why uh, having this as a pillar of our strategic plan is critical for us to achieve our mission as a society.